In this section, uh, we are going to make an amplifier model and we will design amplifier to have a specific gain. So uh, first we are going to start with the amplifier uh, model. So here I'm making the small signal model for amplifier. Uh, so first we can start from the left side. This is our input, as you see. So I, I use, a, use a port here, as you see this one, say insert, insert pin or port, it doesn't matter. So you just have to uh, insert here and uh, rename the port. So I call this in, then we have a gate resistance. We know this uh, always in our transistors, we have a small gate resistance. Uh, this is kind of off topic to explain the device structure of our uh, transistors. But of course, we're going to have also a course about uh, CMOS design and uh, we are explaining all these topics there. So why we have this uh, R, what a CG is. So in case you are not familiar with uh, the structure or small signal model of a CMOS, uh, or BJT transistors, uh, you may have to a little bit study about this model. But uh, in order to do this example and simulation, we actually don't need, you just have to understand what are these models and um, actually why we have to put this capacitance and everything here. So this is mostly about the, the uh, um, actually amplifier design, microwave amplifier design, and you don't have to really uh, know these parameters in details. But uh, I suggest you to study some uh, small signal models. Uh, let's say high frequency small signal model. So uh, so this is the, the gate resistance and this resistance, as you see, this is our gate here, this node. So uh, I can also call it a gate in order to uh, make it clear. So this is our gate and this is our gate source transistor. And this is our gate source capacitor. So it's from gate to source and this is a common uh, source structure. Again, in the next, uh, course uh, of uh, LNA design, we are going to talk about uh, structures. So we are going to explain about the, uh, the other structures like common gate, common source, uh, or other structures. We are going to have simulations for different kind of LNAs. So uh, this is a, uh, one of the common structures that we use. It's a common source because our source is grounded. So we have signal from the ground and uh, this is our input and th this is our drain. So output is our drain. And we, uh, this is actually connected to our drain. So we, when we have an input from gain and output from drain, and source is grounded. So this is a common source structure. So we have a C gate source, as you see here. C one is twenty two point seven femtofarad. This model is not exactly uh, the correct model is like precise, but we try to model it close to a transistor that uh, we use nowadays. So uh, gate source C drain to gate, as you see, this is our drain and this is our gate. So this is a drain to gate. It should be smaller than C gate source. It, should, it is 2.27 femto. So this is the small signal model uh, we have for low frequency structures. Uh, generally, sometimes we just uh, ignore a C gate source for low frequency, but because this is RF, you have to uh, count all, you have to use all the capacitance and include all of them in your model. And uh, here, so for this structure, we have GM. This is uh, how you can use, this is voltage controlled current source. You can just type it here, voltage controlled current source. And if you say enter, you can have this here. So uh, the R1 is the input resistance, the parallel, which is going to be uh, uh, very high. We know this uh, from CMOS, the input is actually open here. So we just have, we only have C gate source here. And the R2 is R drain source. It is uh, 700 ohm. While low, I mean, uh, you may expect this to be a kilo or something, but this is because this is RF device. And in RF device, uh, we have the minimum length. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.